Hello, this is TCAT from Deep Vinyl, TCAT's Deep Vinyl Tracks. Uh, I thought I would join the, the uh, vinyl community thread that was started by Chris Profs, from Chris Profs' music, Musically Obsessed channel, where he wants us to show our oldest album pressing. So I was able to narrow it down to three albums. Um, I kind of have an idea now after doing some looking things up about which albums probably the oldest pressing I have, but there is some question to it, so I'm going to throw show three actually. Um, this first one is a folks way folkways record called Hoot and Annie Tonight. Um, after doing some research, I found out, um, I can't get an exact date on this one, but these were released around 1958 or somewhere around there, uh, 59, 1958, 59, some, somewhere around there. Anyway, this particular album, some copies of it have a big sticker on the top here that says Pete Seeger. Now, this one doesn't have that, but Pete Seeger is listed here as one of the artists. Um, he does most of the, the music on this, and there's the track list. As you can see, it's a typical Folkways style album. It has the, the cover that wraps around and then just the regular black on the back of it. Um, so I'm figuring this is... I'll say around 1959, and uh, this particular one does have the, the brochure that it comes with. It's a little bit yellowed, but it's still in good shape, it's still stapled together. All the lyrics are in here, different things about the artists and the songs. A uh, picture of Jerry Silverman, uh, Betty Sanders, and Sonny Terry. So, that's one. Uh, this other one, I never did find a, a date on it, but the other records released on this label under the same series um, was around 1959-1960 but there's no exact date. Um, it's The Ballad of Fanny Hill, Part 2. This is one of, uh, on the Facts label, they did a whole series of these exotica, not exotica, I made the same mistake again, erotica albums. Um, and this is one of them. Now, these records are actually quite valuable uh, especially have them if you have them in really good shape. There's only been four of this particular album sold on Discogs, and the last one was sold at $220. Um, this one I cleaned up quite a bit, and uh, it plays pretty decent now. Um, it was quite dusty, but there's you know a few minor marks here and there, but nothing too major. Um, so I don't think I'd be able to get the full price for it if I ever decided to sell it. Um, but I mean, I paid 25 cents for it at an estate sale. Um, and the third one that I want to show also came from an estate sale. Uh, this one has an exact date and that's 1958. So if that's the case, this one would actually be the, the oldest, um, that I can as far as I can tell, where the others don't really have release dates. I think they were around 1959. This one was for sure 1958. It's Johnny Cash's The Songs That Made Him Famous. Um, as you can see, it's a picture of him when he was quite young. There's the, the back of it. Now, um, it does have the Sun logo on the top here, which 
I wish this was actually a Sun label that it's on, but it's a Canadian pressing, and the Canadian pressing was released on a London label. So that's what we have on this one. So there you have it. There's at least my three oldest pressings that I have. One of them's definitely got to be the oldest out of all of my other albums. So uh, again, everybody's free to join on to this thread. There's been quite a few of them out there. I just thought I would or quickly do a video that showed my three. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later.